Alright, hi guys. I'm making this video to ask everyone a quick question. Uh, my computer seems to be having some weird boot problems. I'm recording this with my, um, my tablet, um, by the way. But anyway, my computer seems to be having some sort of boot problem. I think it's Windows 8. I've been looking up and some people are saying it's, it's the NVIDIA um, drivers or something that, that aren't compatible with Windows 8 or something like that. I have no idea, but anyway... For some of my older subscribers, you guys may remember my old um, HP. Hold on, let me turn the flash on. Does this help? I can't even turn it on. But there it is. You can kind of see it. My old HP computer I had before I built um, my new gaming computer. That was the original one that I had from 2008, 2008 I believe. Anyway, um, it had Windows Vista on it, and I when Windows 8 came out, I wanted to see if that OS was worth you know installing. So I installed it on this computer. And uh, everything worked fine, and I decided to install Windows 8 on my gaming computer. Now, I wanted to uh, ask everyone, you know, what the hell is the issue here? Because now when I boot my computer, this blank screen pops up. It's not the blue screen of death with all this bunch of code and stuff. It's just a blank blue screen. When I press certain uh, keys, like if I press enter, it flickers like that. It's weird. So here, I'll restart my computer just so you guys can see. All right. It's just, it's just so weird, and everything's been, I always keep everything up to date. Um, NVIDIA, I have their beta drivers on, and I'm thinking that may be the issue. Maybe it's like a beta driver or something, but I have no idea. But this is what happens. This will load. There is another point I also um, uh, recognize, I'll show you guys that in a bit. But yeah, it, it looks like it's going to start up normal, fine, cool. And then look, it's just a blank blue screen, and it will not do anything at all. It just flickers when you press certain keys. So hold on, let me restart this again. It's just the weirdest thing. Because there's um another thing I wanted to do. Yeah, stupid device up there. There's another thing... um. If I go into the system diagnostics, is it system recovery? If I go into system recovery, there's something else I noticed that that you know wasn't wasn't the same. Um, you all know that the boot drive is usually the C drive, right? And then you have like maybe if you bought a computer, you'll have like a secondary backup drive or something installed in there. I have like a 350 or I think 450 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, in this computer, um, that was a C drive where I used, you know, to, to boot Windows and all that stuff. But I also had um, a factory drive that came when I bought the computer. It was like a 10 gigabyte, uh, you know, safety recovery drive. And I noticed the weirdest thing. And I'll, I'll show you this in a sec. Here's the Windows Vista startup screen. It, it would suck if I have to reinstall Windows because I don't have the, the, the CDs with me. They're at the other house. I'll have to go go to the other house and somehow bring the CDs back, which is going to take another two weeks. I mean, that's, if that's going to have, if that's the case, then that's going to really suck. All right. So here we are. This is also another option. If, if everything else fails, excuse me, I could um, recover my computer to its original factory condition, which I don't want to do. If I just do a normal computer checkup here, I'll show you guys. And I ran a diagnostic before this, and everything said it was fine, so it, it's just odd. But if I go over here to system information, look at the weird... If I, if I save this information, look at this. I want to show you guys something. The factory reboot, dri reboot drive is a C drive, and my main drive is the D drive. And I notice this, I'm like, wait, this was the C drive before, and this was the D drive. How did this get mixed and I noticed this other drive right here the boot drive I, I don't even know what the X drive is I've never seen that thing before so I have no idea what any of these things are it, it, it's beyond me I, I really just don't know I, and I'm trying to find out I was trying to switch okay maybe I want to make this the boot drive because that's where Windows is installed on the, the normal big hard drive the original C drive I don't know how these got switched in letters that's something else I, I knew and I had no idea where the X drive popped up, no idea at all. I've been trying to go to the control panel, but you can't from here. I wanted to go to the control panel and um, do a system recovery. 
I, I, I have no idea uh, how to do a system recovery here where I can just recover it to a specific date. I don't know. I don't have that option anywhere. My only option is, oh, you want to completely reset your computer from factory settings? If I go over, if I go back, is there any way to go back? Hello, backspace, no, no, oh, home. If I go, um, return to run recovery, I can just do system recovery. Yeah, I don't want to record it to the original factory condition because I have, you know, programs on here. Like, I have Sony Vegas on here. I got, you know, I, I had Windows 8 installed on here. Um, I didn't really have too many programs, so it's not like a huge, 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 huge deal. But all my documents and stuff on here, in most case, yeah, in most cases, recovering your hard disk will fix your problems. So I, I just have no idea, and every single time I restart this computer, it just goes to that blank blue screen again, and I just don't know, I, I don't know why. I've been looking up on Google and stuff, I'm trying to know how to fix this, and I just can't find anything. I mean, everything, if I go to the setup, hold on, let me go to setup really quick. You know, I mean, this is all... I never really messed with this. If I go to boot, boot time diagnostic screen. What is this? Display the diagnostic screen during boot up. I, I, I don't care. Maybe that's, maybe that's the issue. I'm just not sure at all. It, it, it's just, it. I mean, I'm not good with all this stuff. I can kind of tell what's going on, but I'm not like, oh, I know exactly where I'm going. I'm doing everything. So if I just do, uh, you know, if I want to do something, there's also a boot thing. If you press escape, let me see if that will work. But I, I just need your help, guys. Um, you know, it, it, it's kind of unfortunate because I use this computer, you know, when I'm playing games and stuff, I usually am, I, I, I render computer, I render videos on this computer. <laughs> I wanted to play on my Splinter Cell Blacklist. It's sitting there, right there on the on the shelf. I wanted to play Splinter Cell Blacklist, and and do the first impressions for you guys. And I mean, I can at least play it. Man, I skipped the thing. I can at least play it, but I can't render a video now. And it, it's just this blue blank screen. I I just have no idea why. Ugh. So can you guys please let me know if you've had this issue? Um, if you want to know my specs, it's an AMD Athlon, let me get the specs for you guys, um, this is a HP Ace 146F or something like that, it's an AMD Athlon 64 dual core processor, 6000 plus at 3.2 gigahertz, it has 3 gigs of RAM, same hard drive it came with um the the graphics card it had it came with an onboard nvidia graphics card i upgraded that to a gt610 um yeah a, a, a gt610 uh by pny and i always use the latest you know drive i use the latest beta drivers and i think that may be an issue too the the beta drivers for nvidia but then again i have the beta drivers installed on my um on my gaming computer and it works fine. <laughs> it, it, it works fine. I never had any problems with the gaming computer. If that computer screws up, then I'm just screwed because, you know, that's that's my main computer and everything. But still, this was my main computer over here. It's been in good shape. I kept good care of it since 2008, but, you know, it's five years later, and I understand things just die eventually, but this is just... This looks like a software issue or, or a hardware issue. I think it's a software issue, something with Windows or maybe even the display driver. So let me know, guys. Worst case scenario, like I said, I'll just reboot it to factory conditions, but I'm going to lose a lot of stuff. At least the computer is still going to work. Um, I do have other computers lying around the house, and I at least have my tablet here so I can get, I can still get in contact. But this is a huge, uh, this is this is a huge, you know, detriment to me in terms of making content. I, I don't have a computer to run videos on or render them or do anything like that. I just have my tablet here. And that's not going to work, so let me know, guys. I'm going to upload this through the tablet, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. This is really unfortunate, though. Bye.